Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with what I melted over the last couple weeks. As you may have noticed, I have not posted a video in quite a while. It's been a couple weeks. Um, two reasons. One, I just, I had not melted a lot the first week. I melted quite a bit this past week. And so I just decided to combine the videos or the weeks. And two, I'm really getting burned out on doing videos because every single video, whether it's a haul video or a what I melted video, there's always at least one comment that's negative towards a vendor that I buy from. And honestly, it's getting old and I'm really getting tired of it. So it just has really gotten me to where I don't even want to record anymore. Um, and I hate that. I've been on YouTube now a little over four years. I don't want to stop doing videos because there's a lot of people who enjoy my videos, but at the same time, every single video, there is something negative about somebody and it's just, it's wearing on me. I'm just, I'm too old to deal with drama. That's all there is to it. You know, I'm 37 years old. I don't have time for, you know, bullshit. So anyway, so my basket got full. So I thought I'd go ahead and just show you guys what I've gone through. I don't even know that I have any empties. I may have one or two, but most of it's just stuff I've been working on. So the first thing I grabbed here is Pink Sugar Sleepy Time from Saucy Girls, Pink Sugar, Chamomile, Spearmint, and Lavender. I have one melt left of this. This was a loaf. Um, I do have two or three more of her loaves in this scent, so I will be still working through those. I really enjoy that scent. That is a scent I will continue to purchase. Yes, a lot of people have issues with Sassy Girl, and I don't need to hear about it in the comments. All right, and the next thing that I have is Super Tart Sea Witch, and this one is... Seaside, Mandarin, Northern Lights, and Mimosa. This is a nice fresh scent. I put it in the bathroom. Um, it is very fresh. It is a little hint of, of like aquatic. I don't know what, I guess it's a seaside. It's really good. I really enjoy the scent. This is pretty old. This is from, I think, 2018 or 19. Um, still performing very, very well. Based on the label, I'm going to say it's from 2018. Still smells really, really good. And it lasts quite a long time. I get several hours um, out of that. And I know some people have issues with super tarts. Save it. I don't want to hear that either. I'm just, I'm really getting tired of the bullshit. I just, I'm at that point where Devin's filter's going bye-bye. And y'all are not, I'm going to lose all my subscribers because my filter's gone. Um, I just am, I'm tired. I'm tired of listening to, like like my last video. It was, I understand that Super Tarts is behind on pre-orders. I get that. They have been upfront since day one about it. It's not like they hid that there was an issue. They were up front the minute, not the minute, but the same day that Brandy had her accident. They were up front that there was going to be a delay. But every time I posted a video, somebody has had to speak negatively about Super Tarts. And this isn't the first time things have been delayed. And I don't know. I've never been a business person, but the first time that there were delays were due to COVID. Um... And y'all know the hell everybody's been through for COVID. So I don't, I don't understand that. And this, this, nobody can, you know, say that they're not going to have a freak accident. You know, I just don't, I don't get it. I am really just fed up with everybody at this point. And I know I'm going to have so many thumbs down on this video. I don't care at this point. I am just, oh, <laughs> that's why you don't see me very much anymore. I'm just really fed up with the bullshit. So it is what it is. I haven't even bought um, from a vendor in several weeks. I've bought a few de-stashes. I haven't placed a vendor order in several weeks. Um, I've gotten a couple hauls in, put them right away. I didn't even record a video just because I'm so fed up. I'm just really, I'm really tired of people. Um, so I am just over it at this point. So all right, next is L3, Garnier Fructis Boardwalk Mellow Clouds. Very delicious. I like this. This was a half loaf that I chopped up. I do have another either loaf or scoop in this. Or maybe I have it in a custom. I don't remember. I like this scent. I like Garnier Fructis Shampoo. And Boardwalk Mellow Clouds, is, hers is my favorite. And very delicious. It's just a nice, like, berry. Light sh I don't even get, like, a shampoo from it. I get just a very clean scent. I really enjoy that one. All right, next is Teddy B's Surfside Sweet Shop. I love this scent. It's birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter, and beach treats, which is her beach nights. This is really good. So it's got just a hint of bakery-like 
it's not over the top bakery even though those are like the main notes the beach nights to me comes out more um with a hint of bakery i really like this scent i have the rest of this bag i have a loaf here and another loaf coming from the pre-order so i'm good on this scent but this is nice so um I used to like Sassy Girl's Beach Nights the best, but I think Teddy Bee's has outdone her in Beach Nights. I do like these beach, this Beach Nights better. All right. Oh, this one's got air in it. If you hear creaking, it's, it sounds bad. It's the chair I'm sitting in it. When I move back and forth, it kind of makes like farting noises. <laughs> All right. Also from Teddy Bee's, Pink Lemonade Birthday Cake. Sweet Pink Lemonade Birthday Cake Creamy Frosting with Tart Lemons. So I went ahead and I melted this because um, I had a loaf. I de-stashed a loaf because I didn't smell any like pink lemonade on cold. I smelled just birthday cake. And then I went ahead and I bought this in a de-stash. It was in a lot. So I bought this and I melted it. And again, I don't get much of the lemonade. I get mostly like the bakery scent. It was good, but it's not something that I would repurchase based on that if like it was ever changed so that it was like not equal but there was some smell of lemonade then i would probably repurchase it luna may Psst. no we're not gonna climb on the ceiling at midnight she is crazy okay next from teddy bees is valhalla which is white clouds magic in the air and vanilla snowflake bath and body works types so i have a whole loaf of this also as well as this chunk bag um i de-stashed a loaf because i was like i don't need two loaves plus the chunk bag i'm really trying to get rid of my um my duplicates if you haven't noticed i have been de-stashing like crazy lately and it's just because all the duplicates i have i'm not i'm really not melting as much as i was i'm not reaching for stuff as much as i was i've just kind of gotten in a funk which i've gotten in before and it doesn't last very long it lasts a couple weeks and then i get back into it but right now lately i just have not been in the mood to melt and i'll go days without changing out my wax the only thing i'll change out every day is the bedroom when we go to bed and um, but yeah, so I did not need a whole lo two loaves plus this chunk bag. So I have this chunk bag plus a loaf and that's good with me. This is really good. It is very, very clean. It is white clouds is like a creamy laundry magic in the air is a bath and body works type that I wish would come back. It is such a good scent. And I've really never had vanilla snowflake, so I can't speak on that one, but this is just a nice clean scent. I really love that one a lot. All right, from Sassy Girl, I did some All Washed Up, which is Pink Chiffon Fresh Rain Snuggle. I really like this one. It's a nice laundry, fresh scent. From Super Tarts, I did some Immortal Child. This one is Pink Sugar, Lavender, Vanilla Cream, Strawberry, and Pound Cake. This is good. I really like this scent. I have uh, several melts left. I only use, I think, one cube at a time. If they're small, I'll use two. Typically, I only use one at a time, though. Um, this is real good. It is more of like a strawberry pound cake with lavender. It is really good. So her lavender cream is more on the like herbally side. And then all those other notes really sweeten it up, which is good because I don't like herbal lavender. Mango Coconut Co. Salty Sea Air from L3. This is coming up on three years old. So I do want to finish this up. I don't have a lot from her from 2018, but I do have some stuff still from 2018. I'm trying to finish. Um, this is really good. It is, you get all of three of those type of scents. You get the mango, you get the coconut, and you get the salty sierra. Very nice, fresh, fruity scent. And my cat is acting like a damn crackhead. It's, I don't know, 12, 12 30 in the morning. Um, my kids are on vacation with their dad. Um, they went up to Massachusetts to visit his family because that's where he's from. Um, that's where we met. I lived there for several years, but I grew up in Florida. So, um, but anyway, so he's taken them there for a week. And so um, Robert's and my, believe it or not, Robert's and my one year anniversary is next weekend, July 4th. It's crazy. Today is the 25th now of June. So it's crazy that we've already been married almost a year. Like, I can't believe it's gone by so fast. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna have the weekend. He's got to work on Sunday, which is our anniversary, but... Um, he doesn't work till 5.30 in the evening, so we're going to actually go to North Carolina for the weekend and come back Sunday, you know, morning before he has to go to work. All right, then from VCS, Blueberry Julia is the Sun and blue, Blueberry Treats, which is Blueberry Orange Sherbet Satsuma, Tangerine Whipped Cream, Saltwater Taffy, Cotton Cane Frosting, Marshmallow. 
I like this. It is a little over three years old. It's not as strong as it was. And I don't get as many of the scents. I get mostly the blueberry and I get like the saltwater taffy and cotton candy, but I don't get a lot of the orange, which is pretty surprising to me because other VCS that's older, I have gotten more of the orange type, you know, scents later on. So that's, that was kind of weird to me. From Teddy Bees, I have Sweet Dream Birthday Cake, Lavender Cream, Orange Sherbet, and Birthday Cake. So I have these two chunks left. I was hoarding this, but I am getting a loaf in from the pre-order. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that. It's just a nice, like, it's like an orange creamsicle type blend with lavender birthday cake. So it's really good. All right. My go-to lately has been It Wasn't Just a Dream from Super Tarts Pink Sugar Lavender Cream and Peppermint. It is so good. I have like four cubes left, but I have a lot more of this. I have probably four or five more BAMs. Um, this is our go-to at bedtime when we are stuffy, have a headache, whatever. I've had like a two-day migraine. Um, it's hormonal and it's got to run its course, but it sucks. <laughs> and Robert hasn't had as many headaches on this shift um, as he did on days, but I've been stuffy a lot too, because my allergies are literally 24 seven. So, um, this has been like my godsend for nighttime lately, just because it kind of helps that peppermint really helps clear you out. Um, but then it's got that lavender and pink sugar, which help you kind of relax. All right, from Teddy Bees, sundresses and lemonade, fresh ozone and air, roses, jasmine, lavender, vanilla, melon, sugar, lemon with a fizzy twist. So you notice a lot of Teddy Bees this time. I've been really trying to get through some of my Teddy Bees because I do have a shit ton coming. So I thought, okay, let's start working through these chunk bags. Excuse me, I have clamshells and everything, so we're working on it. So for this, I get some of that fresh ozone type scent, but I also get like a lemonade. So the fizzy with the lemon makes it smell like a lemonade to me. I love it. It is one of my go-tos. I have a shit ton of this as well. I have this, a loaf, and another loaf coming. So I won't be running out of that anytime soon, that's for sure. All right, I gotta see what else. I do have a few empties. I'm kind of surprised. Rise. Okay, I'm trying to finish up bags here. So L3 Saltwater Mermaid. There's a couple pieces left in here. This one's super good. Um, I don't have the scent notes or anything. I love Saltwater Mermaid. It is an absolutely amazing fresh scent. I do have a massive amount of this in different forms. I have a couple scoops with Saltwater Mermaid. I have like different blends, not a lot by itself. Um, I do think I have another doggy bag and I think I have a full loaf in this but then I have like saltwater mermaid fizzy pop saltwater mermaid um that salty siren it has saltwater mermaid saltwater princess and mermaid munchies I have like pink sands and saltwater mermaid in a scoop I have so many variations of this but I love saltwater mermaid so fresh if you like fresh scents you would love it and I believe this is the last of the bags. Rosemary's Baby from Super Tarts. I have not melted this in quite a while. Rosemary Mare Herbal Lavender Bedtime Bath. Love this scent. So minty. So soothing. It's a really, really good bedtime scent. All right. Now I will do... I have one scoop, so I'll go ahead and do that. Um, Summer Scoops Frankenberry from L3. I was going to finish it, and I wound up not finishing. So I will finish it this week. Um, it's good. Robert says it smells like strawberry milk to him, which Summer Scoops is like a strawberry ice cream type blend. So I guess that makes sense. All right, now we'll do clamshells. From Super Tarts, I have Tin Man. And this one is pink sugar, lavender, vanilla, ozone, clean beach, citrus, mosk, and tonka. It is a mix. Isn't it a mix? Isn't it like stainless steel and go to sleep or something like that? I don't remember. Um, it is good. It is really good. Pretty manly, but it's also very soothing. I did some more handmade, which is baby wash, orange slices, and lavender. This I really want to finish up. It is really soft. So some of her oils do um, make the, wa the clamshell soft. That's why I have went ahead and just bagged every clamshell that I have that's newer. Um, so everything I've gotten in in the last year or so, I have rebagged. This one I'm going to finish up so I didn't bother rebagging. Another one from Super Tarts is Data. I love this scent so, so much. It is pear slices and sugar cookies and lavender cream. It is good. I never thought I'd like this combo, but I do. I love it so much. It's very calming. Um, I didn't think I'd like the pear mixed in, but it, it, it's, it works. 
Um, then I have Luna's Lemon Curd French Vanilla Twilight. So this is an older clam from probably early 2019 based on the label. Um, I know she went to those full length labels. She had those shorter labels like this one that would go just halfway down the bat or the clamshell. And then early 2019, she switched to this label. And then later 2019, she switched to the other labels. So um, this is good. I really enjoy this combination as well. And the last clamshell, Breaking Dawn from Teddy Bee's Tis Favorite Lavender Cashmere Cream Mag Marshmallow and Magnolias. Marshmallow Magnolias is her Bullwalk Marshmallow Clouds. I love this scent. I do have a couple more clamshells. I have a couple souffles. But if this is ever offered in loaves anytime soon, I will pick up a loaf as well. I really like, I gravitate towards this a lot. It is so good. Um, her, the Tis Favorite Lavender is more like a lavender chamomile. It's a sweet lavender. It's really good. All right, so I do have a few empties, like I said. I finished a bag of Teddy Bee's Pink Bum Bum Boardwalk. It's Pink Sugar Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds and Bum Bum Cream. Really good. I really love the scent. Um, it is an amazing scent. So Bum Bum Cream is, I don't need, I can't even describe it. But it's kind of more on the like fresh masculine side. And then the Boric Mellow Clouds can have that masculine scent. But the pink sugar just sweetens it up enough that it's not like overpowering. And then from L3, I did this fresh picked strawberry shortbread cookies and vanilla bean noel. There's just two little pieces in here. I got this as a freebie and a D stash a couple years ago. And so I want to finish that up. That was really good. It was pretty strawberry. I didn't get a whole lot else. Lavender Chamomile Pound Cake from L3. I did this sample last night in the bedroom or this morning, whatever you want to call it. It was good. I really enjoyed that. I do have quite a bit of that as well. So I'm trying to, trying to finish some things up I have duplicates of. Uh, Gingham or however you pronounce it. Beach Nights from L3. I hated that. It was too cologne-y. Watermelon Fluff Summer Scoops. This was okay. It was too watermelon-y for me. It kind of like... It kind of had that candy watermelon that kind of makes your mouth water when you are eating like a like a Laffy Taffy or a candy watermelon that you know how it like makes your salivary glands go crazy. That's kind of what that scent did to me in the air. It almost made, it was just too much. Orange Goji Berry from L3. I have a ton of samples, so I'm trying to get through some samples. This was good. I got mostly like the orange, um, put that in the kitchen. Line dry lemon. I put this one in the bathroom. It's really good laundry, lemon laundry. Attack on Titan. So this I put in the living room. Kind of forgot about it. Didn't really go into the living room to smell it. Uh, red Bottoms. This is Jeff Puff Mallow, Zucchini Bread, Sugar Cookie Royale, Wildberry Mousse, and Raspberry. This was amazing. I have a whole loaf of this and I'm so glad I do because this is amazing. Um, this is very much zucchini bread with that wildberry mousse it kind of reminds me of um like terrell never go hungry again from vcs it's got that kind of vibe to it and then zero to hero and i don't i know yes this was fruity this has like blonde moment and something else but it's super good i did do this this i think i showed you in my last week's and said i was gonna finish it because i only did half at a time in the bathroom and it was good it was really fruity it was just it was very summery fruity it was nice very bright i really enjoyed that so all right so that's everything for the last two weeks as you see this is typically what I used to do in a week and now I'm doing it in two weeks. So that's why I've been mad de-stashing like crazy. <laughs> Somebody messaged me and goes, do you really need money that bad? And I was like, no, I just need to get rid of this shit. Like this room. So if you see those green bins right there, those are like my, one has Rose Girls, one has L3. And then to the left of those bins is just nothing but wax. It's crazy. Like there's bins and bins and drawers and drawers and it's just... It's very overwhelming at this point. And that's why I haven't even bought. Like I've only, if I buy these stashes, it's only the scents I've really been looking for. Like my friend Kristen had some Abracadabra, which I've been looking for from uh, Teddy Bees for months now. So I grabbed that, but I want to grab something to make the shipping worth it. So I grabbed a couple small things to go with it. Um, but I've really only been grabbing my big ISO items and that's it. Um, but I am so like, just, I'm kind of over it. You know, my mom comes over and it's like the living room's gone to hell because 
I have wax everywhere. And so it's just not comfortable anymore. It's not fun anymore. I don't have a room to put my wax. It has to go in the living room. Um, you know, we live in a three bedroom house. We're going to be here for the next, I think knowing we were not, we're not going to upgrade our house until we move back to Florida when my daughter graduates really opened my eyes to do I really need all this? Because before we were going to buy a four or five bedroom house in the next year. So I was like, okay, well I'll have a wax room then. But that since that's not happening, I'm like, I have to downsize. I can't just keep everything in this room. So, all right, that's everything. I might be back next week. I don't know. It's going to depend on how much I melt over the next week. If not, you'll see me in another two weeks or so. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.